Rehash City, here we come. Anything I can say about the community of TF2 has been said by me many of times. I don't care for this game anymore, and I think anybody who does should stop giving a service that doesn't respect them money. Until Valve actually bothers with this game and stops stringing you along like a woman who just wants free dinners, you shouldn't bother. However, that viewpoint is in the minority. A lot of retarded little kids still care about this game, probably because they're little kids and they don't have any money, so they're going to cling to any little thing they can for entertainment, and this game gives a lot of bang for no buck. So they're going to white knight this shit harder than a fedora frisbee throw off. I also think the types of people who are some sort of celebrity or influencer or whatever you want to call that, a glorified retard with a microphone on this godforsaken website is also part of the problem. When one Tard Wrangler gets the support of other Tards to the point where they can influence the Tards in such a way that your daily life is affected, that's when you need to take a step back and maybe try to knock the Tard Wrangler down a peg. And a TF2 tuber is the Tard Wrangler to the average player of this game. So let's start a new little series where we just look at the stupid and retarded shit these people do. Let's ask ourselves, do we really deserve to give a part of our finite life to this person? Do we really need to watch and listen to what they say? What these people do? Is this worth my fucking time? Should I watch this, or should I be removing the piss jugs out of my room so mommy can give me some good boy points? We need to start asking these questions, because if we don't, no one will, and everyone's just gonna keep drinking the fluoride. They're gonna keep downing the fucking Jim Jones Kool-Aid. And you have people like Whammo here slinging this Kool-Aid out to the masses. And somehow this person has an influential voice on how these people act in a <clears throat> community. So let's start off with the general synopsis of Whammo. This is your average basic bitch, please give me attention channel with absolutely nothing deviating from the norm. This is your tried and true, I'm only in it for the money, thanks for the money, you stupid fuck. <laughs> thanks for the money, stupid fuck. If we were to swap this channel out with any other TF2 tubers shit, it would blend right on in. Seriously, a large part of the problem is that these massive ass losers blend right in. There's no deviation from the norm, there's no flavor, no soul in anything they do. In a rare case that they actually do try to deviate from the norm, they will get shunned by both their retarded fan base and other TF2 tubers. And in Whammo's case, this is exactly what happened to him. In a bizarre ass case, Whammo actually decided to try and be sort of original for once. At least I think. He released a video shitting on other, uh, some other TF2 tuber, Zesty. Now, all I know about Zesty, he is some ultra based LARPer who tries to act all cool and hip. He loves his PP -pee the frogs and he loves his Amanda Todd bleach jokes. And while I did read his retarded ass meltdown that ended up getting showed, I don't know about the dude and he seemed to be kind of a loser who fetishizes muscular women, which is really just a dude with tits. However, that's not the point. The point is Whammo made this video, his declaration on why Zesty is a bad person. And he went on about it in the most gayest way possible. Sitting, just ugh, shitting down shit all left and right. First, I think what was the first screen of the of the video was the word transphobia and how Zesty's making all these fat jokes and how the main reason Zesty is just so awful. Oh man, he said some things in a private server or some shit. Oh no, oh that's so bad, that's so bad. And while the video itself is just so fucking stupid and bad, it did piss people off. However, because Whammo is Whammo, it blew up in his fat fucking face. And while sometimes that shit does happen when you say or do videos online, or you upload them to the masses, that's not the real blow on how your reputation can be affected with a community or your fan base. You see, the real blow that can happen to you is how you deal with the backlash. If you make a controversial statement, you need to accept the fact that there will be a lot of criticism coming your way. And if you're not going to be a big boy and deal with that with the big boy shit talk, don't shit talk in the first place, bud. The video itself is ugh, just awful. The only way this video could ever be controversial is because the people who watch it are just such massive fucking pussies that any deviation from the normal piss them off. 
I personally think the video is uglier than a $20 whore. You have OC original character Donut Steel PNG images of his little pyro main, his little pyro OC, whatever you want to call it, of him arms folding of a disappointment or disgust, and he's got his hand in his face. You know, if you if you ever see some dumb commentary shit of their little OCs like furries and libertarians, you'll see that shit all the fucking time. You know what I'm talking about. And you also got over editing, you got stock footage, you got buzzwords, you have out of context clips, you got the whole nine yards of absolute dog shit. If you want to see it, I'll link the video down in the description. There's no way in hell I'm going to show you that grid filled video. If you want to watch it, do it on your own terms. Aside from the stupid <clears throat> drama of recent for Whammo, he's also been involved in paid advertisements such as gambling sites that do CSGO type shit with skins and other sketchy sources that just launder money. And despite him being anti-gambling and criticizing these sites earlier in his, I don't know, what the beginning of his channel, he will still take a fat paycheck from these ass wipes. I guess principles and morals don't really account for much when you're given a fat paycheck, huh Whammo? I mean, you also did have merchandise, I mean I can't find it, and I possibly just retarded myself, but I can't find it, but I know you had it, and I'm not gonna pay 30 fucking dollars for some stupid hat with your name on it, hell no. Ugh. Who in their right mind would actually buy a fucking hat with your name on it? What are you next, you're gonna have a little coffee mug, a cute little coffee mug, that'll be $18 please, thank you ma'am. <laughs> Thanks for the money, stupid fuck. Stupid fuck. Aside from trying to milk money out of children, this dumb fuck also just doesn't have a lick of originality. I know I've said that about all TFTubers, and Whammo is no exception. In fact, this fluorinated asshole is the epitome of unoriginality. All his videos are just him either copying, pasting a format someone else has done, or he leeches off the work of others by broadcasting that message. A lot of fucking nerve to talk about someone's work and not add anything of note to what they do. Here, here's some obscure mod or gameplay thing that like three people are working on. Let me use their hard work to benefit myself by getting subscribers, attention, and the appearance of me doing that work that they did because I made a video talking about them. <laughs> Boy, ain't I selfless. Fuck you, Whammo. If you are the next generation of Australians online, then boy, am I saddened. I thought Australians were supposed to be fun and entertaining people. You could roll with the punches and you had a backbone. But as of late, I can't see that. The way you retards are letting FEMA camps into your country and the Orwellian hellhole your government's enacting. If this is the banter level of the next generation of Aussies, then boy, are we in for a world of sadness. Well. That's all I really have to say about this stupid ass tool. Anything would just me be rehashing the shit out of things I've said many of times over how all TF2ers are AIDS. However, maybe I should dedicate some videos on specific ones. Because I feel that these people enjoy some sense of accomplishment and status that they don't deserve. They make videos. These people are not saints. These people don't have some kind of holy pull. So why do people treat them as such? So. Maybe it's best to try and shit all over these people who make videos like this. On also the fanboys that prop them up. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna make 800 videos on TF2 over how we need to balance all weapons and how we need to add more weapons. Even though I have no real knowledge or experience in coding and work with a large player base, I don't know how to do any of that shit. I just make videos criticizing. Call it the online equivalent of being on welfare if you want. I don't care. I have 40,000 YouTube subscribers. Fuck you. I'm going to leech off the hard work of others like the stupid poofta I am.